the death of Jimi Hendrix in London robbed music of one of its greats. He was an icon, a pioneer, and the greatest guitarist of all time. His career at the top spanned just four years, but Jimi Hendrix changed rock music forever. Just hearing the name Jimi Hendrix makes you think of, kind of electric energy. He's one of the most influential and unique guitar players of all time. Oh my God, have you seen him? I mean, look at a piece of film of Jimi Hendrix doing anything, wild thing. Jimi turns it into a sex ritual which invokes the gods in a realm beyond time and space. I don't think there's ever been anyone as extraordinary or as daring as Hendrix. He was the greatest electric guitarist of all time. But really we should care about Jimi Hendrix because he revolutionized the guitar. He was just this unbelievable talent. He not only understood all the new directions in which the music was going, but had the roots and the cultural background. He didn't have to learn it, he was it. Jimi Hendrix couldn't sleep. He'd been to one party and then another. In the early hours, he returned to the Samarkand Hotel in West London. A girlfriend, German ice skater Monica Dannemann, was renting the basement apartment there. Hendrix's time in London had been an unhappy one. He was hounded by jealous women and troublesome lawyers. He couldn't focus, he couldn't write, and he couldn't sleep. Finally, in his exhausted desperation that Friday morning, he found Dannemann's prescription sedatives. He took nine pills, almost 20 times the recommended dose. At 11.18 a.m., Dannemann called for an ambulance. It arrived at the Samarkand nine minutes later. The door to the apartment was open, the rooms beyond dark. The paramedics found Hendrix on the bed inside. He was unconscious. At 11.35, he was transferred to St. Mary Abbott's Hospital but attempts to revive him were a formality. Hendrix was already dead. He had taken too many drugs and drunk too much and he vomited in his sleep and he choked on his vomit. That's a way that a number of people have gone and he was the first of them. The reaction to Jimi Hendrix's death was huge. I mean, he was only 27 years old and of course um, became you know, one of the first members of that terrible thing, the 27 Club, followed not long after by Janis Joplin. Eric Burden paid tribute to him, Rolling Stones, the Beatles. You know, he was just held in such high accord. So, yeah, I mean, I think it was the beginning of Jimi Hendrix as the kind of phenomenon that he became. The shock and the grief, I think, was worldwide. It was something that nobody was expecting. Um, and, you know, it's just such a shame because he was so young. For me, there was something ageless about Jimi Hendrix. You know, I think he was more like 127 when he died. I really do. Because that music came from somewhere else.